So Joan, Bandit, and I are out today scouting the area around our lovely campsite because it is a five day limit. So we gotta find other places to go and we wanna make a town run and we just thought we'd share our day with you. We hope you enjoy it as much as we think we're going to. So as we do this road, we're coming up on all different kinds of canyons. And it's always fun to have your Google Maps open so that it can tell you the names of the areas where you are. We are in uh, Rash Canyon right now, and we just passed uh, some others. And uh, I also have US public lands map open so that I can make sure we are staying on public lands. And you wanna open those while you have signal because we're out here now <laughs> not a single dot <laughs> nothing couldn't even make a phone call if i wanted to but my maps were already uploaded so we're good yep so we're coming up on blacktail canyon right now we don't know why it's called blacktail canyon but there's still okay we got to look at the okay we got to <laughs> stop and decide what we want to do about the fork in the road the things you run into i don't know joan what do you think ah it's a coin to toss right well i'd like to see that camp though okay you said there was some camp uh, well some let me let designated me camp area okay well i'll call up the map we'll let you know what we decide in just a minute <laughs> okay we've decided to take the right road and go up for a ways because we looked at the map and there's a definite turnaround at one point. So we know we don't have to back all the way out. And you, <laughs> you gotta watch for that kind of stuff. But so we're going up, we'll go up to at least that turnaround and see what we're looking for is a, a, our next campsite. But so far, the, none of this will work because there's no signal. But uh, you never know, you go around a canyon and you go up a hill and you can hit a tower. So, fingers crossed. That's right, I'm there with you. Okay, this is what we meant by you wanna make sure you look at the road on satellite view or you look at the road to make sure that you know there's a turnaround because even in a small vehicle, <clears throat> you can't always do K-turns and get out. You have to back up. So far so good in this one though. We're coming up on the turnaround. Oh look at that. They're oh look nice. there's horses. Look guys. This is a whole wow. horse compound. This is cool. Wow, he's chopping wood. I don't know if we can get past him. Or... That's the turnaround right past that trailer that's in the road. So, Okay, so we are headed back down. Nothing up there, but we got to see horses. That was and, great. Yeah, chopping wood, and that was just such fun to see but nothing on this trail, so we're gonna keep going. Okay, we're back at our original spot, and we're gonna do a sharp right. We'll let you know what we find up this road. Yippee! Woohoo! Okay, this sign coming up, I thought it said snake ahead, and, and Joan's like, uh, no, it says share the road. <laughs> Okay, so how is it you knew what that sign said from so far away? Yeah, I recognize those share the road because I'm a cyclist and they're everywhere. Share the, share the road with the bicyclers. And by the way, I'm still so sorry that your bicycle got stolen and people have been so concerned about that. They want to know if you had insurance to cover it. And I did. Yeah, uh, but my I happened to have bought a really nice bike and and the, <laughs> the, the bicycle cost evened out with my deductible but 
I, he said something about I could probably uh, put it on my tax next year. I, it's a good wash for me. I'm okay with it. You're good. So you're 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 okay with even though you'd rather your bike not have gotten stolen. Right. Financially, it worked out okay yes. for you. Yes. And okay. It didn't, didn't put me in a funk. And we are now, as you can tell from Ooh. the blah, blah blah blah, we're on a bumpy road. Ah. Okay. You got to be careful when you're driving out on public lands because they have free range and these guys think they own this land. <laughs> They're like, what are y'all doing on our road? place back there was like a cow camp like they do an annual roundup we could come here and be like billy crystal <laughs> you want to do that oh sure yeah uh-huh <laughs> i've never been on a horse before oh it's fun <laughs> Life. Was that some cattle? Was that some moo cows bandit? <laughs> so Joan and I saw the trucks yesterday. It was 18 wheelers with big old cattle trucks five. that came out. Uh, five of them? You can say it out loud. Five of them. <laughs> <laughs> that came out and dropped these cows off. There's, I don't know, we've probably seen a hundred head so oh, far. At least, yes. Yeah. And um, so just, I'm just telling you, be careful when you're out on National Forest and BLM public roads. So we have found another uh, split off. And this one's called June Creek Road. And we're gonna go see what we can find on it. Okay, so we're able to straddle this, but some knucklehead came in here during the rains and rutted up the road. It's like, why don't do that, people. I just want Joan to know that I'm so proud of her and the four wheel drive that she is doing through these roads. She is just killing it. Is this your first time to do a road like this, Joan? Yes, it is. She's amazing.
So this is as far as we got, but I thought I'd show you the beautiful 360 shot of the end of this road. And we're going to, we're get, we found a place, we, I don't know if you can see it. Um, yeah, right where Joan, where is Joan? Oh, hi, hang on. So right where Joan is, is where we're gonna turn around. And let me show you this view. Look at this. And we just ran across a cattle guard that we don't want to cross. And there are a whole bunch of ground squirrels living underneath it that uh, clearly had never seen a human before. He's got my, his eye on my truck. He says, you want to sell it? Let me know. <laughs> Joan and I are laughing because you know that those guys <laughs> in that in their four uh, in their ATVs out here uh, going hunting because they had their rifles with them were not expecting in the middle of nowhere, miles from anywhere, to run across two older women in a four by four Ford Ranger truck that his son wants. <laughs> No, he wants it. Oh, he wants he it. He wants it. Either way, Joan and I gave each other a high five. <laughs> Mighty nice of y'all to leave us a little space to get through. Just saying. Yeah, mighty nice. to get up her. She looked like she was going to move. Well, I can tell you what they do sometimes is they get up and they charge you. I do. She's, she's, uh, she's thinking about it. there with the white face. Yeah. She got a white face baby calf too. Oh, she sure does. Almost identical. Have you ever seen a spotted cow? Well, now you have. You guys get out of the edge of that water before you get stuck. You know how many cows I've had to pull out because they got their legs stuck? Really? Y'all stop it. Bye. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. And you uh, you work with the National Forest mm -hmm. Service and uh, you've just been wonderful and given us so many tips and helped us understand what the rules, uh, laws, and regulations are in this area. And we appreciate it. Do you mind giving your first name? Jamie. Jamie, you rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. That was Jamie with the U.S. National Forest Service Department of Agriculture, and she was at that cow camp that we saw earlier, and I was just like, we need some help on understanding what the rules, laws, and regs are around here, and she might have some hints on camping, and she was just so awesome, so thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Howdy. Hi. We're just out running around enjoying this beautiful day. <laughs> It's gorgeous. <laughs> Are y'all from here? Um, we live in Utah, but we have property here. Oh, gosh. Oh, I, could tell, I could tell you're so comfortable. You know what you're doing. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Washington. Uh, Washington. Yeah. It's the area of Seattle. Look how fast these people drive on these roads. That's why you never go around a corner fast because I can guarantee you the head on, they're coming blazing. Thank you. 